Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Westside Baptist Church Bible Study Time on this glorious Easter Sunday. Beautiful sunrise this morning. I hope you saw that. But we know the sun has risen. Give him glory from your hearts. Today we're looking at session seven, Risen, out of Matthew's Gospel. But before, before we get into that, we'll start off with prayer needs. Do we have any prayer needs today? I have one right here. Andy Armstrong Easter offering, pray about that. Research I did uh, revealed to me there are 25, I'm sorry, 275 million lost people they estimate in North America, so we're certainly living in a mission field. Pray about this offering, pray for the missionaries, pray about our part in that, that we would give as the Lord would lead us. Met a lady and her husband on the trail this week. Her name was Becky. I promised we'd pray for her. Pray for Becky. Uh, she has MS. Remember the lost in our community? That this Easter season they would feel the love of God in a way that they would uh, have to make a decision. That they would come to Christ. I pray they make the right one. Remember the Women's Release Conference coming up on May 14th. Be sure and pray for that. So excited for that. So be sure and pray for them. Remember the shut-ins. Pray for all of our shut-ins. Lift them up to the Lord. Remember George App and Betsy going through physical issues. Lift them up to the Lord. Remember new believers in our church for growth. We have several. Praise God for that. They need to be discipled and grow up to be what God wants them to be. Remember Jan Hampton and her family. We did a memorial this week for her husband, Harold. He's in heaven now, so... So pray for them as they come through this time of, of grieving. Remember our nation and the leaders of it. Remember Ukraine and Russia. If you're seeing any of that on TV, it breaks my heart, things that are happening over there. Remember Golden Years and, and Brother Al's ministry over in Golden Years. Any other prayer needs today? Okay. Donald Land. We'll sure lift him up. All right, then anyone else before we pray? Okay, then I'm going to call on Brother Al, then, if he'd lead us in prayer this morning. Amen. So again, we're looking in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 28, session 7 in your life weight materials. He is risen. He's alive today, praise the Lord. You know, there's a lot of people today that don't believe that Jesus came out of the grave. And it's a sad thing when there's so much evidence pointing to the fact that no grave could hold him. Now, I've spoken to a lot of people, a witness to them, and uh, when you get down to the uh, resurrection of the Lord, 
I've never met anybody yet that doubted that, that had ever studied about it. They may say, well, I don't believe in it, don't believe it happened, whatever. Ask them how much time they put into the study of the resurrection. Have they uh, given it any time at all? Usually not. I mean, they just off the cuff say, well, I don't think he came forth out of the grave. But uh, the theme today is this. Christ's resurrection assures believers of salvation and our future resurrection as well. Now, six things I'll give you just extra today uh, that the resurrection of Jesus proves. Six things. Number one, it proves Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of God. How do you know it? Because he came forth out of the grave. Also verifies the truth of the Bible. So much of what Jesus said, uh, people today scratch their head over it. (laughs) He's the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody gets to heaven but through him. Nobody comes to the Father but through Jesus. So uh, because he came out of the grave, it verifies every word that he said. All the claims, the greatest claim he ever made was on the third day I'll rise again. Tear down this temple, on the third day I'll rebuild it. He came forth out of the grave. It also assures our resurrection. If we don't have a risen Savior, we don't have any hope. And I'll cover that in the sermon today. Now also it speaks about future judgment. We know that judgment is coming according to Acts 17.31. We'll read that a little bit later. Brother Mike's going to read it for us. But we know that God is going to judge this world by the one that he raised from the grave. He'll be the one sitting on the judgment seat. Yeah, so we know judgment is coming. And, uh, you know, sometimes we look at judgment as such a, a, a negative thing, but judgment is very positive if you look at it in the light that this world won't go on like this forever. God will not allow that. It will not happen. 